Howdy y'all, welcome to Gear Garage. Uh, my name is Dustin. Today we're going to, or I'm going to uh, kind of go through um, how we run a commercial kitchen setup um, on our rafting trips. Um, I'm gonna start off just by uh, um, introducing our tables. We have three of them. Um, if you notice, they're in kind of a shape of an L here. Uh, this allows us to um, have easy access to our, our prep and cook stations and our serving table and our, and our dish station. Um, all three of these tables are made by a company called Recrotech. They're awesome, they're durable, they're easy to set up, piece of cake, they'll go anywhere. Um, first off is our serving table here, our serving and prep table. Uh, we have a nice tablecloth on it to keep it nice and clean, easy to wipe down. Um, and we'll do all our prep work here and then once we're done cooking, we'll serve here as well. Then we have these uh, really cool custom made um, utensil and silverware holders. Um, these are a really neat feature here. Um, you can break them down um, and keep all of your stuff in there and then they just roll up at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the day or the, the next morning when you're packing up um, and take with you pack them back into your lunch or your kitchen box or your lunch box or whatever you got going on there. Um, and then moving on down, we have kind of our cook station. Um, this is a stove made by Johnny, or sorry, Partner Steel. Um, and it opens up this way, takes up all of our uh, table here, six burners. Um, you can have them, you can have Partner Steel uh, redesign this so that it opens up this lengthwise here. Um, Really cool, and then um, we also have our blaster over here. Um, it's really nice because we can run both stoves off one off one propane tank. Um, right behind me, uh, oh yeah. And then we have these two uh, griddles here. These are awesome to have two. Um, however, one definitely will suffice, but it's really nice to be able to cook multiple items at the same time. Um, and then be able to serve hot food, uh, super important. And then right behind me here, we have our, what we call our flagus table. Um, any extra stuff that you may need um, can live here in the center, kind of like your kitchen island, if you will, um, and makes it easily accessible when you need it. But let's go ahead and move down to our dish station. Sweet, so this is our dish setup. Um, we typically use a four bucket system. Um, these buckets are really cool. Um, they're metal, they can go right on the blaster to heat up water. Um, but typically we're working um, towards our dish hammock here. And we like to orient the kitchen so that um, the direction of our buckets or our washing uh, moves downstream or towards the river. Just helps keep, a, um, just helps folks know which way to move. Um, this first bucket here, uh, is typically um, like a pre-wash. It's a warm water with soap. Um, then we're doing a second uh, warm water and soap or hot water and soap. Um, then we're doing a hot water and rinse um, and then a cold sanita uh, sanitization or bleach water here. Um, I like to keep uh, like a trash bucket or something at the very beginning of the line um, so that as people come by, they can scrape all their really uh, big food pieces out um, and helps keep this water a little bit cleaner so that it's lasting longer. Um, once they've dunked into the bleach, uh, dishes go into this really awesome dish hammock here to dry overnight uh, or in the morning. But let's go take a look at the blaster and how we heat our water. Um, so this is our blaster stove setup. Um, if you take a quick look here, you can see what I was talking about earlier. This little T setup here that um, allows one hose to go to our big stove um, and the other hose to come down to this blaster. Now when you're setting this up, you wanna make sure that these hoses aren't gonna catch fire and are out of the way from the blaster. Um, this thing's awesome and it's a great way to heat up water quick. Um, and it pairs well with these metal chicky pails. They can go right on top of the blaster when we go to heat our dish water. Um, but yeah, make sure you're opening up your tank, turn it on a little bit. Make sure you're not standing directly over it because these things are powerful. Go ahead and light it. You can see that that's a pretty good flame there. And we can go ahead and set our dish bucket right on top. Come back in a few minutes and we'll have some nice hot dish water. Sweet. And finally we have our fire pan set up. These are awesome to like 
barbecue on um, or just have like an evening fire with uh, you can remove this grill here um, and just have an open fire um, some things to note about this it's really important um, when having a fire is to make sure that it's raised off the ground uh, so that we're not burning or singeing the sand or whatever debris is underneath it um, as well as having this having this insulated fire blanket um, this helps keep anything uh, that falls off your fire um, contained onto this mat uh, and then at the end of when you're packing up in the next morning um, you can pick up the fire blanket and take all the ashes and anything that's fallen um, down with you you can pack that out with you um, practicing proper leave no trace uh, ethics and principles is really important on um, heavily used uh, river corridors um, in conjunction with this we like to have a shovel um, in case we need, in, you know, in case we need to put out a fire, um, and then a bucket for some water as well. Sweet, thanks, y'all. Uh, that was super fun. Um, if you have any of your own ideas that you'd like to share, please uh, leave anything in the comments below. Um, yeah, and let us know if you have any questions or and what you think. We'll see you later.